the microprocessor extends the intellectual capacities, the brain power of human beings, thus extending the human reach. My name is Federico Fagin. I was the person in charge of the development of the MCS-4 back in 1970-1971 at Intel. The MCS-4 was the four chipsets that was developed for Busicom. One of the chips was the 4004, the world's first microprocessor. When I joined Intel, the first major challenge for me was to devise the methodology that I was going to use using the silicon gate technology, which was also a new technology. That technology allowed to make complex circuits in a different way than metal gate, because nothing like that was done before. I had to figure out how to do it. Ted Off, with the help of Stan Maser, was able to define an architecture for a CPU that was much simpler and faster than what the customer wanted. The customer wanted a CPU that was special purpose and was supposed to be integrated into three separate chips. By using dynamic memory instead of shift register memory, Ted Off was able to reduce the complexity of the CPU so that he felt that it could be built in a single chip. The second defining moment was when the 4004 actually worked. In the middle of January, 40 years ago, when I was alone in the lab of Intel debugging and testing the chip, and find that it was completely working. That, to me, is when the 4004 was born. The microprocessor extends the intellectual capacities, the brain power of human beings, thus extending the human reach. The significance of the microprocessor is really in having enabled the convergence of computing, communications, and control functions, thus allowing the creation of thousands and thousands of products that contain a speck of intelligence that is used to control, that is used to compute, that is used to communicate. I think that the microprocessor is really the heart of the information revolution that has characterized society for the last 50 years and will characterize society for the next uh, hundreds of years. The role that the microprocessor is playing uh, now and will play in the future is best characterized by internet. Internet meaning not only the interconnections, but also the tools that we use, the mobile phones, the computers, the control systems, and so on, which are connected in this gigantic web. The new defining object of the future may well be quantum computers. They promise to change in a fundamental way the nature of computing by allowing to compute way beyond what a mechanical computer like a traditional microprocessor can do. As for whether computers, whether quantum or not, can rival int human intelligence, I have my doubts. I think that human intelligence, of course, in the lower manifestations of it, will be aided tremendously by computers. But there are aspects of human capacities that have to do with intuition, with will, with intention, with imagination, with creativity, all those aspects. I don't believe any machine can really replace. And in that sense, the machines will be quite helpful because they will allow human beings to recognize what makes them human and will recognize how more powerful a human being is than a machine.